let's look at the song Mighty to Save Now, a fantastic song written by Reuben Morgan and Ben Fielding. The song, as you've heard, starts off with a guitar riff, okay, and the riff, um, similar to higher, I've actually layered a couple of delay sounds, okay, which sounds like that. Same thing, like an analog delay with a triplet delay on top. Now what I've done is I've actually put a filtered sound onto, the, onto my guitar. <laughs> It actually sounds like I've got the wah half open. Okay, so that's that's the sound. Now the part I'm playing is actually the three notes A, B, and C sharp. Okay, and I'm playing it starting up here on the 14th fret on the G. So, so that's the A, B, C sharp, and it's a it's just a cyclic a cyclic sound. So. And that's the effect that the delay gives. Okay, so it's pretty cool. So all I'm doing is I'm picking it and um, I'm picking it with a pick and actually picking it with my fingers at the same time, which looks like. So what the rhythm guitar is playing over this part, over that guitar riff, is just a simple, like an octave line, okay, with a, with a bit of a wah effect on it, so it's just. So what the rhythm guitar part and this little guitar line sounds like together is this, two, three, four. Now on top of that we have the acoustic guitar playing the chords and then the bass and the drums come in, so it's a bit hard to hear the chord changes now but you get the idea, okay. Now that part runs right through right through the verse, every verse we always go back to that part. Um, leading into the, the pre-chorus, going into the chorus, okay, we basically just go back to a basic rhythm. Okay, I'm playing, um, I'm playing. Okay, just the A chord up here, into the E, like an inversion of the D and then version back into the A. So with, with the higher, higher strung parts that I'm playing, along with the open chords that Team One is playing down low, this is what it sounds like. Two, three, four. So we do the chorus through a couple of times and we go straight into the instrumental. And in the instrumental, I'm playing a pretty heavy overdriven sound with a wah part and just like a, it's kind of like a rhythm, a rhythm chordal line that I'm doing and it sounds like this. So that's done up in the tenth fret, the the inversions of the the A and the E and the D all up here. Okay, it's pretty much the song. So finally, I'd like to very quickly talk about the gear that I've used for this particular recording uh, to pull the sounds and the effects that you hear. So I always use two amplifiers. Uh, I use a Matchless DC30 and the Vox AC30, which you see here. Great sounding amps, and I run them in stereo at all times, so it's not like an A B setup. It's just both of them running with, um, yeah, with different stereo effects going through it. Uh, all the other sounds that you hear, my overdrives, uh, the delays, what have you, it was all set up in this rack over here. Uh, my overdrives that I use, a Sparkle Drive, uh, Full Drive Pedal, an Expandora and a few other bits and pieces. And the rack effects that I have is the TC Electronic G-Force and the Line 6 Echo Pro. Now everything is all, it's all run through these switches down the bottom.
and then it goes through a line mixer and then out into the amps. So if I'm not using any effects and I just want a dry sound, my guitar essentially runs into my pedal board straight into the front of the rack and straight out into the guitars. So it's a, it's, there's no effects in the loop, in the signal chain, there's nothing degrading the sound. So if I wanna use um, two overdrives, a compressor and a crazy delay, I can actually set that up beforehand and with a flick of a button, it'll bring those sounds into the signal chain via the loops. And then as soon as I'm finished, I'll go back to a clean sound, those sounds get taken out. So there's no unnecessary noise or, or added effects into the chain that'll degrade the sound. So when preparing for the album, what I'll actually do is sit down and work out, I'll get all the songs into like the song list, I'll actually program that into my controller with all the different sounds that I wanna use. So on the night, I'm not actually tap dancing away and trying to figure out the tempos of songs, everything is preset. So I just hit a button, I call up the song, and there it is, all the sounds that I wanna use for that song are ready to go. Okay, so there's not too much mucking around on the night. And um, that's the controller. I, all I have is the controller on stage. The amps and the racks are set up somewhere else. And um, it just allows me to be free to just to play and to concentrate on the night and the songs. Finally, thank you so much for joining me today in this guitar workshop. If you have any questions or if you want to leave some feedback, please contact us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks a lot. God bless.